We always say follow your passion, not reach your passion. As if there's no final destination when it comes to passion. You and I may have a different passion, but I think it's magical to notice when someone speaks of theirs. So I decided to ask a few people what their definition of passion is. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. What is passion? It's a great word, and it comes with great responsibility. I think passion is an inner fire. Passion is, is definitely a driving force. It's something that makes you do stuff. So passion for me is everything. I mean, I've always done the things that I'm most passionate about. If I have to wake up in the morning and get out of my door, I need to do something that I feel passionate about. And I've never enjoyed doing things that I'm not passionate about. If you have passion, you have that hunger and that longing for something. Everyone can have passion. You can have, you can be passionate about your hobby, but how strong your passion is, is how much energy you're willing to put into whatever kind of project you're making. That has been quite hard sometimes because you obviously have to do some things that you don't like to do. Something that you want to do, be, achieve, make, whatever it is. I think passion, it's more about that, uh, extra final touch or that extra you know uh, when, when you make a painting that extra detail you put in the end topping up all this uh, all these emotions that's what i think passion is all about but you can feel passionate about a lot of things you can also feel passionate about the environment or about um, stopping food waste or something so it doesn't have to be a creative thing it doesn't have to be a success thing passion can be a lot of things you would not be passionate about that thing unless you had the potential to be great at it i think passion can change uh, multiple times and you can have different passions at the same time it doesn't have to be locked into one box your work without passion i don't think it's going to come out as good as you want it to so I think it's always that final extra, extra touch that separates it from, uh, from just reality and gives, and gives a bit more spiritual part on the, on, on the details. But I've found a way to do a lot of things that I'm really passionate about. Speaking of my photography, speaking of my passion for football and the, the way I've been able to merge these two things together. I think passion is something to remember that it's so individual, it's like it's your own thing. Passion can also be in your life with friends or with love or with a lot of different things. There's a gut feeling that you belong somewhere versus where you feel like a total alien somewhere else. It might still be different even if it's for acting. You have a passion for some type of acting or a goal for something else. I believe you can have a lot of passions. Sometimes when for example, theatre productions. I enjoy the collaborative process of making a play more than actually playing in the play. It can be the thing that just keeps you, like, keeps your drive throughout a day, right? And it can also have obstacles. That's kind of the basis of, uh, do you want to do something with this in your life? If it's music or painting or making food? How are you gonna fuel yourself with that passion to overcome these obstacles? I don't think you can ever really lose your passion for something. I think it can fade, but then it's up to you to try to rekindle that spark in some way. I wouldn't say I've ever lost my passion for things, but I've definitely experienced times where the passion was almost gone. Not completely, but almost. What happens when you lose that? Because that's usually the thing that helps you, like, slash allows you to to one more and to and to work harder. I had a few years uh, with a depression, which was kind of hard. Um, I quit doing everything that I love, and I was just in bed uh, binging Netflix series and eating unhealthy, and I didn't see family, no friends. I think it's really important to remember why you do the things that you do. I think you can live life without passion, but I think it's a boring life. 
what I've learned being in in situations like that it is that you have to remember why you do it like you can live life without success or creativity but for me that would also be a boring life don't get too nervous if you lose your passion about something because it, it's in there some somewhere and there's a reason why you do what you do and you just have to get back to that reason I think especially for artists it's very important to have all three things and long for all three things search within yourself remember why you do what you do remember why you love doing it you can always look back and grab it again and build it up you know and find your, your passion again for certain things coming out of that depression i started uh, cooking, I started reading books, I started exercising, seeing my family more. Um, I was there for people who, who were there for me and suddenly it wasn't just about me and I think that is also a part of like how I find my passion in life with everything that I do now. As you develop, uh, you can either get more, even more interested in what you do or you can develop uh, new interests in branches that are closely related to it. I map out your skills versus your possibilities. Uh, and and meet people who are interested, like-minded, take courses, take classes. So that could be that you want to be an actor one day, but then you spend enough time on a set that you get really interested in making the entire story. So you might think about being a screenwriter or a director, and then it branches out. And I think that's, that's also the journey. Um, it's not about being an actor or a director, but it's this uh, explorative process in whatever work branch that you decide to do, that, uh, that that is the way to define passion. I think that bumps on the roads are like inevitable, but it's just about taking the best out of it and learning from it and being prepared for the future because we never know when or how big the next bump is going to be. Remember that a stressful period is only a period. And of course you have to you have to navigate through it, you have to get by it. But uh, I think it's really important that you if you feel stressed out or burned out, you have to take a little break, leave as much work as you can, and use some time off to it can it can be like five minutes where you search within yourself, but use that time to to remember why you do what you do, why you are passionate about. I think life without uh, passion would be boring. I've learned that I just have to go chase that because crazy things can happen when you do that. Some might think that passion is a goal or something that you can fulfill. But to me, passion is something I'd like to have follow me around wherever I go. Instead of the finish line, it's the coach on the sideline. To me, passion is purpose. And who says we can have only one?